Good evening, Andy. Thank you very much for joining us on Lambs Media. Defeat on the road against Southend United today. How would you evaluate the game? Um, I think it's small margins in football. Um, you know, we come to a place like this, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, we know they'll get better and better as the season. Again, another full-time club. Um, but to be fair, I thought we started OK. I thought we had a stonewall penalty, which wasn't given, which again, I will need to look back. I'm not going to go mad at anything about it, but it looked a penalty to me and I've spoke to lads around it. And I know Tom McGlinchey doesn't dive. He didn't need to dive. So for me, that's a good chance to be 1-0 up. But that's been and gone. Um, and then we didn't defend very well. We give two awful goals away. Um, which makes it difficult to come back from anywhere, really. You know, this sort of level, you can't give the goals away we gave. We could have been a third one as well when they missed. But if you take them three bad bits of defending out, I thought most of the game we matched them. A first defeat for Tamworth after a four-game unbeaten streak and a difficult ground to come to with over 6,500 fans in attendance. Do you think today showed the difference between Tamworth as a semi-pro side and Southend as a professional side with a big 12th man in the crowd and the big ground etc. Like you said we're, we're punching, we know that, we're playing a professional team and we're semi professional so they'd have been doing analysis yesterday and Thursday where my boys at work but that is an excuse, we knew that we got this league and that hasn't really cost us today. Yes we needed all their prep to be right which it wasn't perfect today, we got here a bit later than I'd like to, that, that's what happens sometimes. Um, so you know, I'm not making excuses because we played okay for large parts of the game, and that you know, the fundamentals of defending your box have to be better, and we give two awful goals away, which we don't normally do. Um, and equally, I thought when we got in good areas in wide players, we didn't we didn't have enough quality either in the final third. So if you don't play well in the two boxes, you, you lose games of football. Overall, did they pass around us all day? No. Did they look like they were much fitter and stronger than us? No. Um, but they've, they've scored two goals and missed an easy chance, and we haven't scored any. 0-0 in the second half, but two quick goals in the quick succession early in the first half. What would you put that down to? I think I've just answered that really. There were defensive errors, you know, that, that's, that's a fact. Um, we're un very uncharacteristic, but yeah, two goals down. And like you said, my remit at half-time was, let's go and get out some pride out of this. Let's not get rolled over. Let's make sure that come 89 minutes, we're still in this game. And we was, because I didn't want to go 3 4 fives, because that is not what we're all about. And like you said, these are the games that you're not, that's not going to define our season coming to places like that, because they should be higher than us. We know that. You know, we've said we're going to target teams at home and we're going to look to pick points up away from home when we can. Anything we've got here is a bonus. But looking at the game and looking at the footage, I think we've got it quite right with the shape. And I think if we'd have executed that better and defended better, we, we could have got points in. Kyle Finn and George Morrison were noticeable omissions in today's squad. Would you be able to give us an update about their current condition? Uh, yeah, they've both got ankle injuries, so they wasn't fit to play today. Uh, we train in the week, we'll train Wednesday this week. Uh, we'll have a little look at them ahead of obviously Friday. Just some words on our tie against Huddersfield next. A football league team who haven't lost in five games. A sellout crowd for the match. What are your thoughts going into it? Like I said, it's something we've got to look forward to. I didn't want it to get in the way of the last three games, and I don't think it has, but I've just said in there, really. Now, folks, enjoy this week, be ready for it, because, like I said, today's done and dusted. We've come here, we haven't got any points. Draw a line under that. You say, I, I never get too high, and equally, we won't get too low. This is always going to be tough when you look at the fixtures. Um, always going to be tough coming here. You know, these are the places you want to come and play at. So many people here. You know, how far is the club coming in a short space of time? But yeah, Friday's a massive game, and we're playing against a team from a higher level who are in really good form. But I keep saying it, we've got a quit ourselves as well as we can. We've got to defend better than we have done today. Uh, we've got to make it an awkward place for them to come and, and, and give it our best shot. And finally, do you have a message for the travelling fans today and the fans who are attending the FA Cup tie on Friday? Yeah, travelling fans have been brilliant all season. You know, win, lose or draw. They, they back the lads. They've had some tough trips and they've had some good trips. And we said this, this season's going to be like that. You know, for us to survive, and I still said from the start, there's no reason why we won't sustain our place in this league. But it's going to be a roller coaster at times. And they're going to come to these places and it's not going to go our way. Um, but they always get behind the boys uh, and we you know, respect that and I want them to all be there sat, like Friday nights so I should say and, and enjoy it because again they've come a long way, their fans are brilliant and it's something for the club to enjoy Friday, it's up to me to make sure and the players that we could give some sort of account ourselves and we come out of that game with some credit. Andy, thank you very much for joining us today and we'll speak to you after Friday's match. Thank you.